this year does not need an introduction. I wanted to share my favorite memories from this year and my move to California. So many amazing moments that were not captured on camera, obviously, and some amazing people that didn't make it into the video. But despite what 2020 was, this is why it was the best year of my life. I started off the year in East Lansing with my best friends as they took on their final semester at Michigan State. In February, I was fortunate enough to reconnect with some old friends and make a weekend trip to Chicago. I was super thankful I got to reconnect with these girls in the city because they make me laugh endlessly. The first week of March, right before the pandemic hit, I was very lucky and I got to go on a cruise to Mexico with some of my best friends. Before we see a little spring break montage, we need to talk about this guy. Right before we boarded the plane, we realized that Thomas was missing a vital document to get on the cruise. So in that clip, we're about to go find out if he's going to get on the boat or not. We got so lucky and this wonderful woman let Thomas on the cruise. As the pandemic unfolded, all of my friends went home and went to all different places. So I spent all my time in East Lansing with my cat and we just kind of waited it out. In May, my friends and I decided to quarantine ourselves before so that we could make a trip down to Tennessee. The plan was to stay in this amazing cabin hike and just see each other again. Speaking of hiking, I do have another little mini story to tell. One of the days while we were there, my friend Jenny decided to pick out the hike for the group. She found this one that was gonna go to this beautiful waterfall. It wasn't too bad of a hike. It was only about five miles round trip, which was kind of what we were feeling for the day. And we headed off, but we're on this hike, which is very, very uphill like the whole time and we were seeing these people coming past us and they were like you have so much farther to go and we were confused because we were about two and a half miles in which means we would be getting to the waterfall no we were so wrong it downpours for the next hour the hike ended up being almost 10 miles round trip but we hiked all the way to the top to see this waterfall i mean it was pretty but we were just exhausted and soaking wet. We then had to get down. I actually slipped and fell and I got mud all over my back. You know what, it was something that we all ended up laughing about and it is still my favorite hiking story to this day. Looking back, this trip was one of my favorite parts of the year and I'm so happy that we decided to go. I spent the rest of summer exploring parts of Michigan that I had never been to before or visiting my group of friends where they live in their hometown. I packed up my stuff in Michigan and moved back to Chicago just for a couple weeks to say goodbye before I left for California. We celebrated my mom's birthday, 
packed up the car and I said goodbye. All your dreams are gonna come true, sweetheart. Aw, I'm so proud of you. I know you can do this. <laughs> and suddenly I was driving across the country with two of my closest friends. They stayed for a week, but eventually we did have to part ways and they flew back home. Except they told me the wrong airport, so we had to say goodbye a second time, but this time it was for real. Finally, my roommate Lex flew in and our search for an apartment began. Pulling up like We've been apartment hunting all day. Five down, three to go. So we just applied for an apartment that we really want. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We got an apartment. <laughs> we move into our apartment tomorrow. Last night homeless. Moving day. It's the day. It's happening. We moved into this apartment and honestly, could not be more thankful and happy to live exactly where we are. I love it here so much. Thus, the apartment transformation began. So, let's go paint. So I just finished painting. I'm still paint, literally everywhere. Doing some damage at Target. Damage, damage, damage. We actually ended up furnishing a lot of this apartment from Facebook Marketplace. And finally, after months, our apartment is in fact done being decorated and built and whatnot. Obviously right now it is decorated for Christmas, but I did want to show some before and afters, so here they are. The rest of my time in California during a pandemic has pretty much just been spent outdoors, exploring the mountains and sea, which I love both of. I'm so thankful to live by both of them. I was able to eat some amazing food, see countless sunsets and spend time with some awesome people out here and I even got to work on a few very very amazing makeup projects this year I'm so thankful for the incredible opportunities and amazing memories that I got to make with my friends, family, and so many other people. If this year taught me one thing, it's just that time really is precious. With that being said, there are 10 days left of 2020. I'm gonna spend those closing out this year and opening up the chapter of whatever next year has in store. Lastly, I just wanted to say thank you to all my closest friends and family who supported me endlessly in the decisions that I've made. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you guys, and I'm so thankful. Here's to 2021.